Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rick Marin on Happy Veterans Day and thank you to all who served. It was a great day for many ceremonies today. Fox 23's Amy Hybels went to the Veterans War Memorial in Jinx, where many who have served were honored. Here in Jenks, they held a reenactment of the national salute that takes place at Arlington National Cemetery on Veterans Day. We asked local veterans why ceremonies like this still matter. Face. It's our responsibility to tell our kids and these teenagers who in just a few short years may be able to wear this uniform that there is a high price to pay for this country to remain free. Scott Lowry, a combat disabled veteran, served as a sergeant in the U.S. Army during Operation Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom. What was that like for you? Um, it was a 13 month vacation that I didn't really enjoy. <laughs> had three boys and then the youngest boy was born and so they uh, had to make that year without me and that was my wife and I's first year of being married as well. Saturday's national salute at the Veterans Park War Memorial in Jenks included verse 1 and 4 of the national anthem, often referred to as the forgotten prayer verse. Praise the Lord that hath And taps, which is unique to the U.S. military, was played at the end of Saturday's ceremony. When I see all the individuals that are here that, that haven't served, it, it really warms my heart to know that the veterans have the support of the community. Aaron Allen served two tours in Iraq as a corporal with the U.S. Marines. We always want the youth to know and understand um, the importance of the veteran and, and uh, what they have done for the country. <laughs> It matters because on the 11th hour, on the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918, the guns went silent in World War I. Um, it's personal because my great grandfather was U.S. Army engineer in uh, 1917, 1918 in World War I. And so I would imagine that when those guns fell silent, he felt probably a sense of peace. Covering news that matters in Jinx, I'm Amy Hybels, Fox 23 News.